Uh, I think, you know, the biggest thing for me that, you know, the reason I came back, I just want to, you know, win football games. I feel like it's a great opportunity with a great coaching staff to uh, to do great things. And I've learned so many new things, new techniques uh, from Coach Beatty, Coach Kingsbury, and Coach Sumlin that, that has just improved my game um, tremendously. And I think, but the biggest thing, you know, I just want to come back, play in the SEC, compete, and win football games. What excites you most about this offense? Uh, it's exciting just from an offensive player how fast uh, how fast we really move, um, uh, how we can wear defenses down and, and score a bunch of points. I, I feel like we've got so many weapons on the field. Um, Christian Michael, Trey Williams, um, Easy Watch Q. There's so many guys on the field that can make plays. Uh, and with this offense, uh, how fast we, we go, it, it's hard to adjust and make those adjustments on the field. So. Uh, it's just it's important that we just execute and, and practice hard and, and, and work on that speed. What has the dynamic of the offense has been since you've been here? And, you know, could you imagine that there would be another offense that would take it to another level? Do you see this as taking it to another level? Yeah, most definitely. I, I feel like uh, um, this offense uh, is is very fast, uh, opposed to our last offense. Um, you know, I feel like that uh, we're trying to get. 100 plus plays in a game and just really wear out those defenses and um, you know I can really tell the way we practice is uh, up tempo uh, and very fast um, and, and it's going to help us uh, you know in the third and fourth quarter finish football games. So given that y'all might get 10 to 15 more snaps per game than a year ago you had 89 catches last year is, is 100 catches a doable thing for you? Uh, I'm not really too concerned about uh, you know how many catches I'm going to have and how many yards. I'm, I'm real uh, concerned about uh, the team as a whole and how we perform on the field. And uh, it's just important to uh, to this team. There's so much leadership uh, and, and there's a lot of character on this football team. And and uh, we've got a, a good group of guys that are hungry to win football games. What are you telling us? You didn't look at some of the other guys who played in the spots where you will be lining up and see what they've done, and I think that this could be a huge year for you. You talking about our younger guys? No, just guys in this offense that are you know, lined up where you would be lined up. And... Right, yeah. I mean, I think this offense is just an explosive offense. Uh, Coach Kingsbury, he does a great job of, of coaching our players to, to move quickly on the field and, and uh, just get to get to your spot as fast as possible and, and move you know, 100 miles per hour. Um, and I think that's huge. Uh, the things that we want to accomplish this year, just uh, – that we practice hard and just really focus on that tempo and try to wear out defenses. I think Coach said that there's been kind of a learning curve for Patrick having to get to the ball snap it so quick. How have you seen him handle that and how has he grown this summer in running the offense? Yeah, Patrick does a great job of uh, just kind of uh, taking that leadership role on the field uh, and and really just get that tempo moving. It starts up front with, with those five guys, and, and he really uh, uh, holds those guys accountable hold, and holds the whole offense accountable of getting to the ball and, and going on the next play. Have you seen anything in particular from him of having to throw, pick up the pace and, and get the snap? Yeah, snapped? most definitely. You know, uh, he, He's had to you know, up his game one level, uh, and not performance-wise, but almost conditioning-wise, just because he's got to get there. Um, so fast, and he's done a great job this summer of uh, just really working hard, working on his speed, and, and just uh, the tempo that we move at uh, is critical. So he's done a great job of, of uh, adjusting to that. He said the most surprising thing about Johnny Manziel was the way that the leadership he's shown early on uh, in the offense. What has been your opinion early on with regards to how he's handled being named the starting quarterback in practice? Uh, I think Johnny, he's handled it really well. Uh, I think he's a kind of guy who uh, who takes takes this game very seriously. He's uh, uh, he's hungry to win, and, and that's the kind of guy we need back there. We need that leadership role, uh, a guy that's uh, willing to you know stay stay up here late and watch film and, and come in here early in the morning and and just kind of really work on his game. And not only that, but just lead us on the field. And uh, I think that shows uh, shows greatness out of him. Uh, Especially as a freshman, it's hard to, to step in there and have that leadership role uh, at such a young age. And I think he's handled that really well, and I'm excited for him. From the end of spring with Manziel to that same mid July, I mean, did you see a completely different guy, really? Or was it just progressive through the summer? Yeah, he really 
uh, you know, I, I sat down with him this summer, and I, you know, I even talked to him. I would text him, and uh, I think he really started seeing the big picture. Picture, you know, I, as a as a receiver, I got to watch him play football, and he's an incredible athlete. Uh, and better yet, he's a great quarterback. He's got all those tangibles, and uh, you know, I think he it just took him, you know, a couple weeks to see that. And once he felt comfortable with himself, co- felt comfortable, you know, with his teammates. Uh, you could really kind of see him blossom and and, and uh, start making plays this camp, and, and he's uh, he's come a long way, and uh, it's just a great opportunity for for a young guy to just go out there and uh, and win football games for us. You say you, you talked to him. With, what kind of things were did you feel you needed to talk to him about? Or? Well, I mean, as a freshman, uh, you know, sometimes you don't have confidence, and uh, or you can. Uh, you just you don't know how the college football scheme really works, and I felt like it was uh, the right thing to do, kind of take him under my wing, uh, and, and you know just boost him. And I think he's done a great job of handling that confidence and and, uh, and that pressure. And uh, he's really helping our football team out. He, he's being a leader out there, and, and he's doing the small things that that's going to help us win football games. One of those things as a senior, he's a freshman. You talk to him about life issues as well, you know, in terms of. How to handle yourself off field and so forth as, as a leader of this football team. Most definitely, yeah. He's he's uh, he's doing a good job right now. I you know I've got trust in him. I feel like our uh, whole team does, and that's important uh, as as a you know senior coming back. Uh, and you know I've talked to all the receivers and a guy like Johnny. We we have uh, full trust in, and uh, we are very excited for him. And uh, just we just can't get complacent that's what we tell him he's got to work every day because you know we've got you know three guys right behind him that are wanting that spot so it's important that he goes out and works hard every single day is this first game a good test for you guys that you can't just go out to La Tech and make mistakes and it's also a chance for you guys to hit the road and start that way with a new scheme and that sort of thing yeah this is a very important game La Tech you know is a great football team they've got good coaches and uh uh, it's it's not a game we're going to take lightly. We're, uh, we're excited for it. The team, you know, camaraderie right now, we're just hungry to win. And uh, it, there's a good vibe in the air, and uh, we're anxious. Uh, they've made huge, huge impressions on me. Uh, I'm, you know, honored to play for uh, Coach Sumlin and uh, Coach Kingsbury, and they've taught me so many things that, you know, have, you know, I improved my game to a whole new level, and uh, and you know I just really excited for this opportunity, senior season, to to play for Coach Selman, and uh, you know I can't wait for kickoff. When you meet somebody like that, you're not sure what you're getting. Is there when you finally met him face to face and started hearing some of the things? What 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 kind of excited you, or what brought you over to believing that this is a good move? Uh, you know, I just after. Watching Coach Sumlin and what he, you know, did at Houston, uh, it was incredible. Uh, you know, he had, uh, I'm pretty sure, three receivers go over a thousand yards, and uh, it's just very impressive offense that they ran. And, and then when I got to meet him and talk to him on the phone, uh, it just sounded like a guy that I uh, was really uh, excited to play for. Uh, it made me want to come back, and uh, I've, I have so much trust in him and the coaches of, you know, what they're doing with us on the practice field, that uh, you know we're confident that we can uh, win football games and that's important to have that confidence in each other and in your coaches and in your players because I feel like uh, if you didn't have that uh, you wouldn't win games but uh, I think that's the the biggest reason I was excited to come back and play for Coach Sumlin. In the fall, what do you think of the of music I think it's great I think uh, it's it's almost like a, a game atmosphere uh, you never go out to if you go out to practice and it's quiet uh, it doesn't really get you ready for the game. So I think with the music turned up, uh, it brings a lot of energy to practice. It's almost a, like a game situation. Uh, you've got noise going on. Um, there'll always be fans yelling. So I think it's a great, uh, great opportunity for us to to improve. You know, uh, the energy on the field and 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 just you know adjust to to game like situations. Anything else for Ryan? Anybody try to contribute to the playlist? I'm on the phone screen. Not me. Uh, there's a couple guys, but but uh, it's it's pretty selective playlist. What's the soundtrack to this offense? You could describe it. Soundtrack to this offense. Uh, I I can't answer that question. I 
that's sorry about that. That's a hard question. <laughs> Putting me on the spot here. <laughs> Ryan Swope on the podium 